fuck it is the last trick. Wanna laugh at how I got my ass caught up with this bad bitch? Thinking I had a but she had. What is up? My fellow hip hop heads and music lovers in general, my name is Gvents and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am once again reviewing three albums. I have no idea why it's always like that. Um, one of them came out, um, I believe, on Tuesday. No, no, it was on Wednesday. Yeah, sorry. It came out. One of them came out on Wednesday, and two of them came out today. So I just want to get right to it. I don't want to uh, waste too much time on the intros anymore because uh, that's like unnecessary for me at least and probably for you too also my bad if there's like maybe a lot of wind i'm outside as always because there's a lot of noise going on in my room right now um but uh let's get right into it so the first album i'm going to be reviewing today is an album called diaspora diaspora yeah sorry that's that's how you say it. i had to uh, think about it um, I actually had to to look up how to pronounce this name because I like still don't do it. But Diaspora is the name of the album, and it's by the one and only Goldlink. And this dude has been pretty silent to say the least for like maybe two years. He hasn't been dropping anything, um, and so he finally decided to do it. Um, you know, for those for those of you that don't know. Uh, Goldling came out, you know, with like a few albums before this. You know, there was I think the album is called, and at that and at that moment we never talked or something like that. And then uh, the album that came out in 2017, which was called At What Cost, uh, which is my favorite uh, album that he's ever dropped so far. So, um, so yeah, I think uh, Goldling makes some pretty pretty good like music to say the least. Um, at least in my opinion, I think he's a pretty like talented artist. Um, and after listening to this album, um, I I have to agree with somebody that although I do think that it, it's a really great album, um, I do have to agree with somebody that told me that it's not his best work. It could have been better, but um, but like. I feel that it was still like worth listening to you know what I mean um, he uh, he does a lot of different stuff now you know historically speaking gold link has always been a part of like you know he's always been like that artist that like does like like more than just hip-hop you know he like he like uh, he, he like experiments i guess you could say like every album he experiments with new sounds you know see what what he can do see what else he's capable of doing see you know like what other like stuff he can add um to not only like make music for hip-hop fans but you know to like maybe make music for r&b fans uh you know maybe electronic you know he, he just he just likes to experiment you know like and on this album he like focuses more on singing rather than rapping to say the least he uh i don't i don't know how to explain it it's like he kind of like pays respect and at the same time goes back to his like to his like african roots because uh there is a lot of like african like themes in this album um he um he uh like uses a lot of like african elements in this you know like like in the in the background you, you like you like hear like like some some fucking like war cries or some shit and then like some like just just like stuff that that would make you think about africa pretty much um th think of this album as like a whole big like african like musical going on because there is a lot of like sessions in this album where it's just like instrumentals and like not too much like like rapping you know that there, there's instrumentals and you know with the instrumentals come the war cries and then comes like like the the soulful sounds of like africa and all that like it's like i don't know i think it's um i think it's something that um was pretty enjoyable at least, at least for me you know uh the guest list in this album is pretty diverse you know you got tyler the creator on there you got push a t you got khalid Although Khalid sounds kind of different in this one, I don't know how I feel about it. I like, but you know, it's whatever. Um, and there are a few like other artists that I can't like remember what their names were because, well, well, because their like names were like were like so unique, I couldn't like remember them. Um, but like, besides like Tyler and Pusha and 
and Khalid, you know, there are a few like artists that are like from Africa, you know, adding adding like their own spin to this album. Um, and I feel like I feel like they uh, did a really really good job on you know pretty much I'm pretty much like making this sound li like an African musical to say the least. Um, I feel like it. I feel like Goldlink should have been the one to do the Black Panther music. Like, 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 I'm not talking about like, like the soundtrack. I'm talking about like, like the instrumental parts because um, this is what it kind of reminded me of. Um, not saying that the people who did work on the Black Panther like instrumental portions like didn't do a good job. I just personally think that Goldlink should also like be a part of that because he. He does make some really great music, you know. I, I don't know who is the person like producing the album, uh, but the production value in the album is very great. Um, I think my favorite song on the whole ch album might be a song called Maniac, uh, because Golding, this man, he just fucking goes in, you know. Like, like yeah, d did I do I did I like, 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 like the more like calm version of him and like the more like, the more like soulful shit. Of course, like, like I'm re I'm a really big fan of that. Uh, but but for those of you that know me like that like that have known me for a while now then you know that I'm really really into like the the lyrical stuff and maniac is just that you know him being lyrical him him like going hard him being like you know having this very like aggressive voice you know that's what I like you know uh, Goling does like rap and sing in, in like in like an African accent which um, I don't think he's ever done that before like I, I don't um, I don't like remember him like rapping in an African accent um, in at what cost and, and the other album that came out like unless I just like wasn't like paying attention um, I don't have any like memory of that but you know I'll just leave it at that because I'm not I don't want to get too much into that uh, but overall I think this album was you know like I said, it's not his best work, but it's something very enjoyable and it's something that I can appreciate. You know, I feel like I feel like a message that can be taken from this album is to to never forget your roots, never forget where you came from, because like that's what shapes who you are. And yeah, of course, it is important to like try to adapt to like this modern world. But it's also like important to never forget where you're from, because eventually you'll forget about it, you know, and you know never 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 forget where you're from because um it's something very important is it, it's what makes you a person it, it's what makes you who you are you know it's your family history and you know like just just never forget to remember it and never forget to uh, teach it to the future gener generations so they can also um so they can also like like, like have a really good me memory and so they can also like not forget their roots when you are gone so I, th I think that's a really good message. And with that being said, um, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram down below as always. DM me for requests. Go ahead and follow Goldlink on Instagram down below as um, his new album, uh, Diaspora. I was about to fuck it up again. His new album, Diaspora, is out now. Go l listen to it if you haven't already. Um, and... And with that being said, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the second upload for today. And don't forget to stay happy.